the Tor network has long been considered the gold standard for online anonymity and privacy. Used by journalists, activists, and everyday users wanting to keep their browsing secure, Tor promises a shield against surveillance. But recent investigations have raised serious questions. Is Tor really as safe as we think? So how does Tor work? The network bounces your data through at least three randomly selected servers or nodes, masking your IP address and identity. These nodes, entry, middle, and exit make up the maze that keeps users anonymous. It's this layered encryption that makes Tor so appealing for those seeking privacy or escaping censorship. For many, Tor is a lifeline, protecting their privacy and freedom of speech. But it's also used for darker purposes, drug trafficking, illicit content, cybercrime, and this has drawn the attention of law enforcement. Recently, German law enforcement made headlines for de-anonymizing Tor users on the dark web using a technique called timing analysis. Investigative journalists from German public broadcasters revealed that authorities were able to trace and unmask users who believed they were safely hidden behind Tor's veil of anonymity. This timing analysis works by observing data packets as they move through the Tor network, timing their travel between nodes to trace them back to the user. Once thought to be impossible, this technique is now being used to infiltrate even the darkest corners of the web. The Tor project quickly responded, assuring users that the network remains secure. They explained that previous de-anonymization attacks targeted outdated software like Ricochet. According to the Tor team, modern versions of the network are more secure. For most users, Tor still offers the best protection for browsing the web anonymously. But as we've seen, even the strongest defenses can have vulnerabilities. Law enforcement agencies don't just use advanced timing analysis, they also operate their own servers within the Tor network. The more nodes they control, the higher the chance that a user's data will pass through one of their monitored servers. In one case, German authorities identified a network of pedo criminals using Tor and took down a major darknet platform. Their timing analysis pinpointed the exact entry nodes used by suspects, leading to arrests. This has led to growing distrust within the Tor community. On forums like Hacker News, users speculate about who really controls the servers. Could intelligence agencies be operating hundreds or even thousands of nodes, tracking users from within? Some argue that powerful nations like the United States, Russia and China could easily control a significant portion of the network, further eroding trust in its privacy guarantees. While Tor remains a crucial tool for those seeking online privacy, it's clear that law enforcement has found ways to break through its defenses. However, the Tor project insists that as long as users keep their software up to date, the network can still provide strong anonymity. So is Tor really safe? The answer is complex. For most users, it remains a powerful tool for protecting online privacy. But if you're using Tor to access the dark web or engage in activities that attract law enforcement, be aware, your anonymity might not be as guaranteed as you think. What do you think about these recent developments? Is it time to rethink our trust in Tor, or is it still the best option for anonymity? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates on digital privacy and cybersecurity. Fade out with background music.